Are you gonna be in the video? I think she's gonna stay in my arms. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. This is Lottie. <laughs> and today I am doing a very exciting makeover. I am making over my living room. I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and also for making it possible for me to have a really beautiful website. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to run your business and I can't wait to show you my new website and talk a little bit about them more later on in this video. I also want to address the crazy time we are living in right now and this week's video is a little different I filmed it myself usually I'm used to Carla being here and shooting actually let me just let me just give her a call Hello. hi I'm filming my stand-up and and I have you on speaker I was just telling the camera that you weren't here today, telling all the viewers that this video is a little different and I filmed it all myself and that you weren't here. And then I thought, why don't I call her? So I'm calling you. Anything you'd like to say? I'm really, really proud of you. Thanks. That's so nice. Bye. Guys, she's usually not this nice to me. Oh, but what? We'll see how I feel when I actually see the footage. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them I miss them. Okay, I told them. Well, you told them. <laughs> okay. Everybody, all humankind, to be honest. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, good luck with your video. Okay, thanks. You got this. You can do it. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> yes, I filmed this entire video by myself without Carla. Alana's working from home. It's just been kind of a weird week, and I'm sure that you guys are feeling the same way. On my channel, I really more than ever want this to be a positive place where you can just take, you know, 15 minutes to take a break, to feel at peace, to feel not anxious, to feel calm, and all those calm, you know, calm, nice words. I'm still bringing you content. It's just gonna look, you know, a little different because I don't have my team with me. It's just me and lots. Who sleeps on the job? A lot. Are you ready? Let's get this makeover started. Currently day two, I think, of this crazy quarantine that's happening. I thought I would take this opportunity to make over my living room because that just seems like the logical thing to do. I honestly have feel like I've just gotten my living room to the place where I feel good about it. I have a dining table now where I work. I have this big TV, which I love. I have lots of seating, but there are a couple things that I think I want to change and I love redecorating. So this is what my living room currently looks like now. The first thing is this rug. I absolutely love it, but it's way too small for this room. When you're buying a rug, you should always go for a bigger size than you think you'll need. The rule of thumb is that everything should fit on the rug. So your sofa should fit on the rug, your chair, this one is like literally floating in the middle of the room and it's always bothered me, but I've kind of just had to work with it. So I'm gonna get a bigger rug. I'm also gonna be changing this TV area. I'm finding that this white unit is taking up a lot of space. It just feels a little bit plain to me and I think that there's an opportunity for something more stylish, a little bit more fancy. I feel like I have so much art that you guys have sent me, subscribers have sent me, artists have sent me, and I want a place to showcase that. So what I'm thinking is doing a giant gallery wall with a TV like floating in the middle of it. Also, when I last made over this living room, a lot of you guys were commenting that you hated the wall sconce above the dining table, but I need light in that corner. It's where I work every single day. I'm gonna be doing something really fun fun on this wall. I'm going to be doing a bit of an accent wall. And so this light's coming down and I'm going to replace it with a pendant light on the ceiling. I'm also going to take down these shelves, the photo shelves, because the gallery wall is going to be moving onto this wall. I can't wait until you guys see this makeover. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be epic. First things first, I'm going to measure the size of rug that I will need for this space. My rule of thumb is always to go bigger than you think. I was actually gonna order the size down from this and I'm really glad I didn't because it just would have been too small. So measure, measure, 
measure. So guys, it is day two of being inside and to be quite honest, it's 3.50 and I have not been that productive today. I've been sitting in my living room like looking at this accent wall, but I'm feeling like I have no idea what color to do. The paint store is closed along with everything else in Ontario right now. So I need to pick from the colors that I do have. I have a green and I have a pink that I'm thinking could work. But first I'm going to get everything out of this little nook, take the shelves down, fill the holes, and do some paint swatches on the wall. So I said that there were two paint colors, but I actually found four different colors. I'm gonna patch them on the wall and I think I'm also gonna ask you guys on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll put my handle here. Make sure you follow me because when I'm making over spaces, I sometimes ask you guys in a poll what kind of things I should use, like from decor to paint, so you don't want to miss out being a part of that. Okay, so here's my four colors. This is the pink I always use called Southern Comfort. It needs a little bit of a stir. This is charcoal gray, so very different than the pink vibe. We've got a sagey green. I just used this in Wendy's makeover. And then I used this in the nursery makeover I did. So it's a bit darker than this pink. I'm gonna swatch these and we'll see which one looks, looks better in the space. Okay, so these are the colors on the wall. I kind of think that the black is just not gonna work. I had this idea that it would look really sophisticated, but it just looks really dark. So three colors. I'm gonna ask you guys on Instagram what you think. Okay, the verdict is in. Um, you guys are loving the pinky beige Southern Comfort. Pretty excited that you guys picked that one because it's one of my favorite colors. I'm going to show you guys the Pinterest photo Alana shared with me and I was like, I have to do this in my living room. It's this organic shape thing going on. I'm gonna try that on this wall. And what I'm gonna do is just use a pencil to do the shape all across the wall and then just start painting it. Wish me luck. I've drawn my line in pencil. You guys can't see it, but it's basically just like a very organic kind of irregular shape. I'm using a foam brush and I'm just going to go over the line to trace out my shape before I start rolling. The good thing about this is I want it to look organic. I don't want it to look perfect, so I don't have to worry about, you know, being super precise. I recently revamped my website uh, using Squarespace, and as someone with a small business, I was so impressed with how many things you can do on this platform. My favorite thing about being a Squarespace user is that it is a one-stop shop for everything relating to your business. So you can have a blog, you can have a store, you can send out an email campaign that notifies your customers of sales or a new post, and then you can go to the analytics and see what's performing well on your site. You always say, what's your Amazon shop? Where can I buy your merch? Where can I see your latest videos? It's all on alexandragator.com. As someone who is not super like computer savvy, I can honestly say that building a website on Squarespace is really easy. It's super customizable. Squarespace makes that happen. Another thing that I love about my website is that you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. My weekly newsletter is called The Decor Edit and it is a place where I give you inspiration, products, tips, solutions, all of the decor things in your inbox. I'm really proud of how the newsletter has kind of evolved and the place it's at right now. One of my fave weekly moments in this whole team AG world. So definitely sign up, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash Alexandra Gator or use the code Alexandra Gator for 10% off your first website or domain. So it is the next day, not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little stir crazy today. I washed my hair, which is kind of a miracle. But honestly, like this whole being stuck inside thing is kind of hitting me. It's been, what, like four days I've been inside. So with that all said, I woke up this morning and I'm like, I'm not loving the accent wall. 
I'm not loving it. Here's my reasoning. Chico is building me this like beautiful custom whitewashed round bench. I have the purple couch, which I'm actually not a huge fan of purple, but it was the closest color at the time to pink. So I got it and I, and I do like it in the space, but I feel like this pink wall is just, it's too much pink. It's like pink, purple. It just feels very, very girly and like kind of juvenile. So, I think today I'm gonna paint over it. See, on the camera it looks a little more like neutral, but I just feel like the purple and the pink, it just, it feels a little bit girly. I'm thinking shelves that wrap around here with plants. And I'm getting a, like a Moroccan style textured rug, like a shag rug. And then yeah, this curved bench and the gallery wall. So it makes me sad because the idea of it is so cool. And I think it looks really different. I just, I'm not feeling it for my space. I also asked you guys on Instagram. Let's take a look. This was posted 30 minutes ago. 57% of you say I should keep it. And 43% of you say no way. But then 71% of you said, yes, I should paint it white and do plants on shelves. Really? And 29% of you said no. I think I gotta paint this white guys. I think it has to happen. Day four of quarantine and I don't like the pink wall. <laughs> so I am going to paint over it in white. Let's paint. You guys. The wall is white again. I actually ended up painting the whole nook. I just like freshened it up with another coat of paint. And I wanted to say that this is a really good example of how sometimes in the design process, you just have to try things and if you hate it, you can cover it up. And I wanted to share a lesson that I learned through this whole process. I do mood boards for all of the designs I execute. It really helps me visualize everything before we actually start installing. I was playing around with colors in my Photoshop document for this living room and I just couldn't figure out what color to put in this nook. I'm realizing now that I should have just waited until I found a color that I really like. But then on the other hand, it's like it was just paint and I have all this free time on my hand so I could try it out just to see how it looked. And I hated it, like I really didn't like it. But you live and you learn. I'm gonna clean up, so fun. Hey guys, it's another day of self-isolating. I think it's day like nine, if you can believe it. Today is the day where I'm putting everything back together. I received some exciting deliveries. <gasps> Bench. I've hung this pendant light. This is on Amazon for I think $25. Like how beautiful. And I've hung this television. So many of you ask me, how do I hide my television? The thing about this TV, guys, is that it actually doubles as art. This is probably like one of the biggest splurges I've made in my home. I have wanted this TV for so long. I've had my eye on it. It was on sale when I bought it. I'm gonna link it down below. And it is still expensive, it's still pricey, but I've sold my old TV to a friend and I saved up for it. So I'm like, I just, I'm gonna buy it. I just can't wait to see it incorporated in this gallery wall that I'm gonna be doing around it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in that rug. Look at this rug. Harriet, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, rug montage. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. When I was thinking about redoing my living room, I'm gonna pop up the photo that really inspired me. I have seen this pinned so many times. It's Emily Henderson's, I think her assistant moved into an apartment and her dad built her this amazingly beautiful curved bench. So I asked Chico, you guys might know Chico from my series, Make My Space Work. He's like my right hand man. He's so talented. He's a set director and a set designer. Yeah, he's incredible. So I was literally like, hey Chico, can you build me a custom bench? And he was like, yeah, for sure. And then he dropped this beautiful bench on my porch the other day. He also gave it a beautiful whitewash with some white paint and water. We've done this so many times on Make My Space Work and yeah, it's incredible. Chico, you're the best. Like the curved edges. Look how much more open this looks now. 
and like way bigger already. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I was gonna be including people that follow me on Instagram who have been so kind to send me custom prints. I ordered them all to have them printed, but the photo store closed yesterday as with like everything else in the city, obviously. For now, I'm just gonna use what I have and do a, do a gallery wall. Now, there is specific like ways to do a gallery wall. I'm just gonna wing it. So this is some of the art that I have. Harriet in a party hat, because why not? Harriet and party. Oh, so cute. So in a gallery wall, you always want like a variation of sizes, especially when it's a gallery wall this big. So I have this really big frame. I am going to be framing a picture actually that an Instagram friend of mine gifted me a while ago. Her name's Emily Keating Snyder. She does like thread on canvas. Stunning. Okay, I'm gonna hang this up. Bear with me. <laughs> Shooting this alone. One thing I always like to do is hanging something, stepping back, and then just keep building out from there. There's a lot of resources online I've noticed that give you templates of how to do a gallery wall. So like some people like it really lined up and sleek, which makes sense. I'm going for a more like eclectic kind of random gallery wall. You just have to play around with it really. Another tip I have is incorporating things that aren't necessarily framed pieces of art. A local Toronto artist, um, Bianca, she has a company called Party at Nona's. She made me this beautiful crochet piece. It's supposed to be me wearing a flower crown and ruffles. It's so cute. And I also have this eye mirror, which is really cool. This is from Morocco. I was thinking of maybe incorporating this. Already I'm like, actually, I think I'm gonna move the photo of April and I and put this just to break up all the frames. Enjoy this time-lapse. Another time-lapse. <laughs> This is the last picture going up. This is a mixed tile. So these just stick to the wall. They're super renter friendly. This is the gallery wall. I love it. So this TV turns into a piece of art. You can buy art from there. They have like a subscription, a monthly subscription, or it comes with art. Oh my God. How is that a television? Like look at all the choices. A beach, they're partners with Minted and you guys know I love minted, so I can literally have like a massive minted piece of art on my screen. This is crazy. I am obsessed. Like I'm just gonna sit here all day and change, <laughs> change the artwork. So I've left lots of space down here because I'm propping this bench with lots of things. It's coming along so well. I'm gonna put some baskets under there to hide those cables. I can't believe I made this over without like quite literally leaving my house. I mean, I ordered stuff and I did order stuff more than a week ago. It just kind of was amazing timing that it arrived. Now, I'm gonna do the finishing touches and then reveal the space to you. Yay! Guys, this is like the happiest and most excited I've been in about nine days. I do wanna mention that although we are done the makeover, I left this wall completely empty because my friend Danny Berger is coming over whenever the world goes back to normal. I have reserved this wall for her. After my like, it wasn't even a mistake, it was just like trial and error. Danny was like, please reserve that wall for me. Don't do anything to it. I think she's doing some sort of mural, I'm really excited. But for now, I can live with it a little crisp white room. I'm so excited with how this space turned out. Let's like take a look at the befores. It looks fine, but it's small. The TV is just like the first thing you see. This nook felt very cramped working in it every day because you had that light and the shelves. Let's take a look at what it looks like now.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you to Squarespace so much for sponsoring this video and giving me an incredibly beautiful website. Make sure you guys check my website out, sign up to the weekly newsletter. It is the place where I send you decor pics and inspiration on a weekly basis. I hope you all stay safe and I hope that this channel continues to bring you joy in a kind of chaotic, not so joyous time. Thank you guys again for being here with me. I'm so grateful to have all of you in my community and I will see you next time. Bye.